this is the second half of chat number 236, which is titled, I already forgot, Confidence in the Kitchen. Um, so this is the second half of it, and I'm Kelly with If You Have an Egg.com. You can watch this later on YouTube. It's just um, if you have it's just youtube.com, search if you have an egg, or you can see the transcripts for this here in a couple of days on if you have an egg.com. So we just got our water and we're getting ready to talk about the second half. In the second half, we're gonna talk about how much weight I've lost the last three weeks and how I did it with a 10, my 10 top tools were for doing that. But first, let's talk about these awesome water dispensing units. <laughs> it's, it's a tumbler. It's a, these are stainless steel tumblers that one of the ladies that comes to our markets here at Casey Kitchen Center is making. And I know a couple of you all had asked about the Hocus Pocus ones. Email me. So email me at if you have an egg.com. I'm sorry, email me at if you have an egg at gmail.com and I'll send you information on these. But look how cute these are. These are stainless tumblers. Oh my gosh. They're Hocus Pocus stainless tumblers. Okay. So if you want more information about them, email me at if you have an egg at gmail.com and I will let you know how to get these. Okay, so I already took advantage of this and I can get as many of these as we need. She promises me she can make like up to 500 of them. Okay, but anyway, I went ahead and bought this one and Alyssa and I were drinking plain water. We were just drinking ice water out of this yesterday and she kept saying it was our witch's brew. So this is a great way to get your water in. That is number five on the list that we're getting ready to talk about. Okay, so everybody knows, or if you're not brand new, you know that we have only been back to our in-person workshops for three workshops now. So we are getting ready to have our fourth workshop since, um, since we returned. And I've been talking about my tools. I've been talking about my toolbox. Um, we've been talking about, you know, we've been talking, um, Sylvia, I have no idea. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. Sylvia wants to know how much these hold. I have no idea. Enough? I'll find out. I literally have no idea. I will find out. Anyway, so we've been talking a lot about our tools, a lot about our toolbox. Does anybody want to take a guess how much weight I've lost in the last three weeks since we returned to in-person workshops? Any guesses, and you're not going to hurt my feelings. You're not going to hurt my feelings if you guess low. And I'm getting ready to show you my 10 top tools for how this happened. The first thing I need to tell you is this is not, this was not a normal weight loss for three weeks. Okay. Hello, Biz. So this is not a normal weight loss for, for three weeks. So it's actually more, it's actually a lot more than I expected to lose in three weeks. So I don't want anybody, to, first of all, to think that if you do this, that you're going to lose this much in three weeks. Okay. So this was a little bit out of the ordinary, but... And I don't expect to continue this. Wow, Lynn, thanks. And I don't expect to continue this, you know, at, at this rate every week. Um, but I can tell you that using the tools in my toolbox that I'm getting ready to show you definitely is what propelled me that way. So, oh, Betty Ann, that is so sweet. Yeah, no, no. Okay, so in three weeks, and Barbara, that is so sweet too, but no. In three weeks, I lost 7.4 pounds. So 7.4. So I was super tickled with that. If I had been... If I had been happy, again, that's, I mean, that's a, that is a lot for me. But if I had been happy with um, a normal weight, you know, my normal weight loss, and thank you, Cynthia, if I'd been happy with my normal weight loss, I would have been at goal. So if I'd have been happy with all the weeks that I lost 0.2 pounds a week, um, I would have been at goal in 1998. So stop and think a second how long ago that was. So, all the times that I got upset about not losing two and three and five and seven, you know, whatever pounds, if I had just stuck with it in the beginning, losing 0 0.2, 0 0.5, you know, whatever. Thank you, everybody. Um, I would have been at goal in 1998. Okay. So again, this is not a normal weight loss, but I do want to show you these tools because if you'll just use what's in your toolbox, and remember, I keep talking about putting things in your toolbox. If you'll use what's in your toolbox, for those of you who know what to do, we've done this a million times. We've been doing this, you know, you know, two years, five years, 20, 20 years, 25 years. I know what to do. I just have to get my toolbox out. Okay, so these are the things in my toolbox. This is not literally my toolbox. I put this together as a visual aid so that I could show you some things while I was talking. And thank you again, everybody. So these are my top 10 tools 
these are my every day use them. These are things that I sh you should do every sing that I should do every single day. Your toolbox might look different than my toolbox. So somebody, Loretta, I think I think I saw that pop up. Ask me if I increase protein. Okay. Things like increasing protein for me, that's if I need kind of a little kick in the kind of a kick in the pants. Um, like if my weight loss has stalled, this is my everyday go to what I need to do, what I need to do every day to make sure that I have a point two or a 2.4 or 2.7, you know, weight loss. So th this, these are my top 10 things in the toolbox. I hope that you will put together your own top 10 toolbox. Um, and remember, if you're just getting started again, um, pick two, pick two things out of your 10. I would love it if you would list your 10 and then pick two of them to, you know, to focus on. So that's what I had to do when we went back to our in-person workshops. I didn't have time to do all 10 of them. I didn't have time to think about all 10 of them. But now that I've been working on it again, this is the fourth week um, that we've been back to in-person workshops. You know, I've, I've moved on past my pandemic, you know, pity party. And yes, uh, Carol, I am still on purple, but I've moved, moved past my pandemic pity party, pulled my normal thing, my toolbox back out. And again, this is, I don't always have this physical toolbox, but it made a better presentation. Plus, is this little stinking cute, this little basket? And it has a handle. Okay. Anyway, so this is my top 10. My top 10. Number one, in-person workshops. So this is representing to me in-person workshops. Um, if you can't find or get to an in-person workshop, I am so sorry. I am so sorry because I absolutely think that that, I mean, that is in my, that's number one in my, in my personal top 10 of things. Um, I think being with like-minded people is absolutely key to my success. Um, if, you know, I need somebody else to weigh me. So I need another person who's not going to judge me to, um, and Loretta says, is something banana every morning all right? I don't know. It, I don't know. I think it auto-corrected because um, I don't understand the question. But anyway, I mean, I think it's a great place. I need somebody to weigh me. Um, if you can't get to somewhere where you can sit, put your little bottom in a chair, um, please, please, please um, join our live chats. Please find a Zoom to attend or connect, um, find a connect coach or meet with some other WWers, you know, in your area. You know, find some way, find some way to do some version, you know, of a workshop. So that is key to me. So this is my, this is, this represents my workshop for me. Um, yeah, and Carol Lou says this is her workshop. That's awesome. And you just, I firmly believe that you need to do something. You need to attend something every week. Um, number two, accountability buddies. If you don't have one, find one. They don't have to live in your town. I am lucky that my accountability buddy lives less than 15 minutes away from me. We have the unique opportunity to be able to get together at least three days a week to walk. Um, we talk all the time. I mean, we are texting each other all the time. Um, we do attend an in-person workshop together. Um, you don't have to have an in-person person. Okay. But if you don't have an accountability buddy, get one. That is my number two. Definitely my number two. You have to have at least one other like-minded person that you can talk to about this. I love my husband, and he is watching this right now, or at least he has it on right now, but he can't answer all these questions, okay? When I say, hey, should I have, you know, five cups of popcorn or this cookie, you know, he, he's going to say, I don't know, which which one do you want, um, you know? Or if I say, oh, gosh, should I walk or should I do this or should I do that? You know, my accountability is going to be straight up with me. You know, she's going to tell me, yeah, you should or no, you really shouldn't do that. Or if I mess up, you know what she's going to say? It's OK. Let's go again. So she's the reason that I joined WW five times, I mean six times before I actually got to go. But anyway, if you don't have an accountability buddy, get one. And again, they don't have to be in town. That's what phones are for. And that's what Zoom is for. You know, so they don't have to be in town. Um, number three, tracking is the new black. So I never watched. Um, yay. Oh, and Carol Lee says this group is her is her accountability. Um, I'm serious. Y'all try to find somebody to buddy up with. We all need to support each other. But please try to find one person. Each person needs to find another person to try and buddy up with. If you don't have an in-town person or, you know, somebody that's close to you to buddy up with, I'm serious. Okay, try to. There's somebody for everybody out there. I feel like a, it's, this feel like match.com or something. We, what, we, what could we call this? Accountability.com. Yeah, 
And we're all going to start putting our profiles out there and I'll start matching you all together. I'm just kidding. We're not going to do that. Okay. So tracking is the new black. I never watched. I never, I never, I've never seen, what is it? Orange is the new black or whatever. I have no idea what that show is about, but it just sounded cool. So I'm using it. So tracking is the new black. Um, I never, I never watched that show, but I know that intentional tracking really works. It really, really works. So intentional tracking is different than just tracking. So I'm going to, that's why I say tracking is the new black. These are some of my cards that I've made. These are some of my, um, um, he says extra ability. There you go. Um, these are some of my cards that I've made for myself so that I know, you know, I can pull out, I know how many points something for Wendy's is. I know what to get from somewhere else, but, um, intentional tracking means that everything, and that means every thing before it goes in your mouth, goes in your tracker, okay? Whether you're paper tracking or if you're tracking on your phone, however you're tracking, if you're doing intentional tracking, everything, everything before it goes in your mouth, goes in your tracker. So if you're doing cover your rear tracking, you're not going to have this kind of weight loss, okay? And I'm, and I'm sorry. And if you're having to do cover your rear end tracking, if that's how life is right now, then that's how life is. But if you want you know, these decent kinds of weight loss, you know, weight losses and no surprises, you're going to have to track before it goes in your mouth. And that's intentional tracking. So tracking is the new black. Um, number four, hold the salt, literally. So I don't know about you, but I can hold, I can either hold on to or lose two to three pounds in just a couple of days just from retained water and salt, just from retaining water from having too much salt. I mean, I'm serious. I can have a two to three pound fluctuation in my weight just from either consuming sodium or not consuming sodium. Um, so once that happens, if I can, if I consume too much sodium, not only do I, oh, hello, hello, Deborah. Let's see. Oh, Deborah is, are you, so you go by Debbie. So everybody said that I've been calling you Deborah this whole time. So everybody say hello to Deborah or Debbie. Um, Liz, I'm on purple. So I use almost all of my points every single day. Okay. So the salt thing though, I can, I mean, I'm serious. I can either gain or lose two to three pounds pretty darn quick by either eating too much, you know, consuming too much sodium or not consuming sodium. Um, but it makes my feet swell when that happens. So when that happens, it's like the two pounds all goes to my feet. And when my, my, when my feet swell, then my toes hurt. And if my toes hurt, it makes me less active. And if I'm less active, well, you can see where this whole cycle is going. Okay. You can see where the whole cycle is going. So less sodium. Um, I personally use DAC spices because they are sodium and MSG free. Um, and these, um, you can get, online with us if on if you have an egg.com you can order these directly from dax there's lots of other um salt free sodium free spices but yeah so that that is definitely in my toolbox so it has to be in my toolbox then concurrent with that don't so you're gonna hold the salt but don't hold the h2o so this is another cute mug this is another cute cup from the same girls that made these so find something cute to drink your water in because you don't want to hold the HGO, H2O while you're holding the salt. So while, if you're if you're somebody who needs to hold the salt like me, while you're holding the salt and you need to kick up your body's natural fat flushing um, power by adding an extra bottle or two or an extra cup or two, you know, of water, of H2O. Um, so um, just plain water if you can. So if you don't like water, because a lot of you, some of you don't, but if you don't like water, a quick trick is to drink a cup of it really quick before you let yourself have your morning coffee because if you can gag it down, so if you gag down that cup real quick and then have your coffee, it's over fast, okay? It's like taking your medicine. Um, or you can add some ice to it, squeeze in just a little bit of lemon and a little bit of um, some kind of sweetener and pretend you're drinking a handcrafted lemonade, but you've got to get in some extra water. So the water in combination with not consuming you know, as much sodium. Um, oh yeah, Betty Ann says cucumber in her water. That's a great idea. Um, but you're gonna want to flush that out. So the water is gonna help flush that out. But anyway, this is that another super cute, super cute cup. And I think it's a color changing cup from those same girls. So if you like this, also holler at me because we have these here at Casey Kitchen Center. Okay, then so this was number five. Number six is um keep it simple, Susan. So Simple, simple, simple things. And I'm embarrassed to say that number six isn't over here. 
hold on just a second. I got so excited with the, with the volume that I forgot to get it. Hold on. I'll be right back. I think I'll be right back. Yes. Okay. So number six, just pretend like this was here the entire time. So number six, I call up titled Keep It Simple Susan. So I've been doing a lot of things like this. I know people will say, oh, I don't want to buy things already pre-prepared or pre-rinsed or pre-whatever because it's more expensive. So how expensive is a watermelon that you don't cut up? So if you purchase a watermelon and you don't cut it up, you just let it rot in your refrigerator. How expensive is that? So I've been doing a lot of this lately. Buying things that are like these are obviously grapes that are already pulled off of the stem. So this is two dollars and fifty cents. So this cup is two dollars and fifty cents. I've been getting these across the street at Food City, but these I can wash in this cup, and this will last me a couple of days. Um, these will last me a couple of days. This is so much less expensive than buying grapes, not pulling them off of the stem, not washing them not eating them and throwing them away. So keep it simple, Susan. And I, don't, I don't know who Susan is, but I just decided to make it keep it simple, Susan. It could be Sally. It could be whoever. So think, you know, something like that. So eating, um, you know, anything that's pre-prepared. So I've been doing a lot of pre-prepared fruit. So like the grapes like this, I've been getting watermelon um, across the street already cut into fourths and then sliced. And then I just slice off however much watermelon I want, you know, or I cut it and go ahead and cube it. Um, it is a little bit more expensive, but guess what? I eat it. I eat it and I've not been throwing it away. So I think that's a lot better idea. And I've been going ahead and still using commercially prepared yogurts. Um, you know, instead of I'm more than capable of making my own flavored yogurts. But right now, using my toolbox. So everything in my toolbox says right now, keep it simple. And it's worked because I've lost 7.4 pounds in three weeks. So it has definitely worked. Okay, number seven. Who knows what these are? Who knows what these are? Oops. You think you know what these are. What are these? And this too. So what are these? This is number seven. So this in my fight against crime, fight against food crime, these are to correct the creep, okay? So if y'all don't know what the creep is, yes, they are, but they're a secret weapon. So these are, so Loretta says measuring spoons. These are, in fact, measuring spoons, but they are also a secret weapon in my toolbox because I have something called the creep. And I don't know if you all do too or not, but the creep happens when you're days in, weeks in, months in, years in. Exactly, Joanna. Years in, okay, 25 years in, the creep happens when you think, yeah, I got this. I got this. I know what I'm doing. I don't have to measure stuff anymore because I know what a tablespoon looks like. So, I mean, everybody knows what a tablespoon of peanut butter looks like, right? So a tablespoon of peanut butter looks like this. It looks like this, but it looks like this flat, okay? So when the creep happens, instead of having a flat tablespoon of peanut butter, I have a different spoon, and it's a little bit rounded the first time, and then you know, a couple of times later it's got more, and then a couple of times later it's got more. Well, before you know, when I let, when I start letting the creep start creeping, then I can take a tablespoon of peanut butter and it turns into two, two and a half tablespoons of peanut butter real fast. So this is one of my um, you know crime fighters. So this you know, helps me to fight the creep. Um, if you go back and watch chat number 197, we talk about finding our perfect portion. Um, I wasn't, um, I, oh yeah, and exactly, okay, Vicki says lick, bite, and taste are horrible for the creep. So we, WW used to call that BLTs, bites, licks, and tastes, and um, BLTs, and we, I almost talked about that today. I almost talked about BLT, so thanks for bringing that up, Vicki. Um, but if you go back to chat number 197, and again, you can find that on ifyouhaveanegg.com or you can go to um, youtube.com and search if you have an egg and find chat number 197, find your perfect portion. So if everything I ate in this last three weeks, if I couldn't measure, if it wasn't something that I could actually measure, then I used the My Perfect Port, the tools from the My Perfect Portion chat for that. One of those things is, and that's why I said, do you know what this is? One of those things is, I don't know if y'all realize this or not, people from the South use mason jars 
a lot, a lot. Like one of the things I'm getting ready to order here for here at Casey Kitchen Center, it's actually a lid for mason jars that you can use that have a spout and, you know, whatever, so you don't have to use the metal ones. But anyway, but I don't know if you knew this or not, but mason jars have, they have measurements on them. And so like these little tiny jelly jars, um, two ounces, four ounces, and six ounces is already pre-marked on the side. And um, yeah, so you can use, you know, even some of your, even some of your household things uh, that you don't normally use for measuring, you can use those for measuring so that you can avoid the creep. So that was number seven. Um, whew, I'm going to take a breath because we have nine more minutes left. Since we have nine minutes, I'm going to talk really quickly on number seven. I do suggest that you go back and watch chat number 197. And yes, Liz, they are lids. So you'll have to take, you'll have to pay attention to that for when I get those because they are lids for mason jars that are not metal. So they don't rust and they can get flip lids and you can take them off. There's one that you can flip the top open and you can stick, you know, stick your spoon in and, you know, measure whatever. But anyway, that's a, that's another subject for another time. But um, when we're talking about correcting the creep, please go back and watch chat number 197 or go back and, and read the transcript from that because we talk about so many things that you can use around your house. And Liz already has them. I mean, so many things that you can use around your house, including your hands, that you can use to measure things. Okay. So go, I, I would recommend that. Like even an ice cream scoop. I use a normal sized ice cream scoop, the kind that has the little thing that flips out the ice cream. I use one of those to measure a quarter cup of so many things. Like I would venture to guess that I probably use that, I don't know, way more than I use a one quarter cup measuring cup because it's just simple. It's easy. And again, it has that little thing where you can use it to, to dump out whatever is in there. But anyway, so I highly recommend you go back and watch 197 and it's titled find your perfect portion. So if you go to, if you have an egg.com, go to the search bar and type in perfect. If you type in perfect portion, you will pull it up. Or if you go to YouTube, and again, it's just YouTube.com. And if you search for if you have an egg and then search, find your perfect portion, you will also find it. But super helpful tips. Gets me out of a jam a lot, a lot, especially if I'm at somebody else's house or I'm in a situation where I can't, you know, where I'm not going to go, hey, where's your uh, where's your ice cream scoop? I need to measure out a fourth of a cup of this. You know, so anyway, so they are super helpful. Okay, so that was number seven. Number eight is stay curious. Okay. Fantastic find over at Food City today. Um, and I'm just promoting Food City because they are right across the street from us. It is so convenient. So we all know, every single one of us knows, I think all of us know that Olay Extreme Wellness, the um, the low carb, the Olay, Olay, wait, chick, chick. Oh, the chick, chick. Oh, okay, okay, sorry. Alicia said, you're so cute, the chick, chick thing. And I was going, what? But she meant the chick, chick thing. That's the noise it makes. It is. It's the noise it makes. Think about it. Oh, goodness. The storm's coming, so I'm going to talk fast. Okay. So, everybody knows that Olay Extreme Wellness, the low-carb one, is one point. It's one point for a huge tortilla, okay? So, everybody knows that. But, here's my problem. I was, hello, Orlando Debbie. And Orlando Debbie, are y'all getting this storm, too? Because I saw it was going right past Orlando. But, anyway, so they're awesome, but they're huge, and so here's what I found. I was cramming so much stuff into the into the Olay Extreme Wellness. I was even if it was zero point foods, I was adding unnecessary calories because I'm one of those people that if I put it in there, even if even if it's this big after I roll up the Olay Extreme Wellness, I'm gonna eat all of it. So I was adding a lot of unnecessary calories. You know, I didn't need it. I didn't need it, and I wasn't that hungry. But if it's in if it's in there, if I made it, I'm gonna eat it. So. Two weeks ago, I found La Banderita low carb. So they're like, I guess they're like for keto or whatever. So I found La Banderita low carb tortillas and they're much smaller and it's a softer tortilla. So it's more like an actual tortilla, you know, um, and John loves them, loves them. And they were also one smart point. So even though LA Extreme Wellness is this big and the La Banderita was this big, I went ahead and got them. Look what I found this week though. Now they have, or at least our food city does, they have La Banderita, the carb counter keto in a street taco size, even smaller. So one of these on purple, and I didn't scan it for the other colors, but one of these on purple is zero smart points. 
look how small that is. So if I needed a little snack, instead of eating a big tortilla and filling it up with a bunch of stuff that I didn't need, I can get a street taco size. So one is zero, two of these is one smart point, three of these is still one smart point. So that's the La Banderita Carb Counter Street Taco. Super excited to find that. Okay. So that's the stay curious. So don't don't think you know. Don't just assume that you know everything. Okay. So always, I'm all constantly scanning everything at the grocery store. What's this? What's this? What's this? Is this lower? Is this higher? You know, what is this? So always stay curious. Okay. Number nine, two on, two on, one off. So I've talked about that many times. If you watch any of our Disney chats, and again, those are just on if you have an egg.com or on youtube.com, search if you have an egg. If you watch us at Disney, I try to do two on and one off, and that just means that you have two meals that are on plan and one meal that is off plan. Um, so I pre-planned for um, a month. I have pre-planned for our once a month festivities. We had our pop-up market was here at Casey Kitchen Center last week, and it was Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And I knew that we were going to have food trucks, and I knew that we were going to have things that I wanted to eat. So I pre-planned that to have two meals on and one meal off so that I could participate in the festivities of the food trucks. So this is my reminder. So this is my little reminder that, you know, I can have two on plan and one off plan. But when I do that, y'all, some of y'all are going to pass out, especially if you're on purple. When I do that, I just go ahead and count it as a 30 point day and move on. So I had negative 16 to 18 points every day for the last four days. So those of you who just passed out, pick yourself up off the floor. It's okay. It is okay. I may or may not have used 30 points. I don't know, but I wasn't going to stress myself out about those four days out of an entire month. So let's see, this is August. So August has 31 days. So August has 31 days. So for four days out of this month, I just went ahead and did, because I knew it was coming. I did two on, one off, but then I counted that as 30 points, whether it was or not. So calm down if you just passed out. Okay, and then the last one is have fun. So the last tool in my toolbox is to have fun. So having fun might be finding a new air fryer recipe. It might be trying your air fryer for the first time. It might be pulling your Instant Pot out when a friend comes to visit you in St. Louis. Hint, hint. Popcorn Karen, um, but just have fun with it. So my have fun that I'm going to have this coming week um, is I could drive myself crazy. I could literally drive myself crazy trying to be perfect all the time, um, eating the same things every single day. Um, but I'm most successful when my perfectly planned week contains some fun. So last week I showed you all how to make um, cream cheese, how to make fat-free cream cheese with a cheesecloth and a colander and a bowl and a plate. And um, so I showed you how to make it with that. But several of you, and I'm still in shock. I'm still in shock over how that turns out. Um, but several of you, though, suggested that I use a coffee filter. So my fun for this week is while I was over, again, at Food City, I found, I saw a reusable coffee filter and it was just hanging on the end of the aisle for like $2.99. And I thought, you know what? That's what I'm going to do for fun this week. I'm going to try making the fat-free cream cheese with a reusable coffee filter and see how that turns out. So that's what my fun is going to be. Okay, so I've talked a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, I've still probably talked almost an hour, even though we had some audio difficulties at the very beginning. And I do so appreciate all of you all who hung in there, even with the um, microphone trouble. But now I know every third chat change the batteries in the new microphone. But I hope you'll get your toolbox out. It doesn't have to be a physical toolbox like this. Um, but maybe just one time, maybe one time make it a physical toolbox so that you can see what you're talking about. I highly suggest that you... Um, write down 10 things, figure out what the 10 things are that make you the most successful. And remember some things like adding protein, um, some things like amping up your um, exercise or stuff like that. That might be a, hey, I need to kind of push through um, thing, but find your 10 things that you know, if you do those, that you're going to be successful. And if you're having trouble getting back in, you know, like I was a few weeks ago, just pick two of them, pick two, you know, pick two out of your toolbox. That was also a previous chat. So you can go back and check out, and it was just called pick two. So you can go back and find that. Okay. I had a great week. Dusty is already snoring. So apparently the impending storm is not affecting him at all, but I really appreciate y'all being here. I even more appreciate your understanding and your patience while we work through um, the audio issue. So if you're watching this later on YouTube, please don't complain about the volume. <laughs> 
please don't complain at the volume. Go ahead and let the next video roll over because the next one is going to be one of the ones with the better microphone anyway. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe right here and click that little bell. And don't forget, if you're interested in one of the Hocus Pocus um, tumblers, um, I'm not the one making these, but I love them. I love them. And we have those here at Casey Kitchen Center. It's another small woman-owned business here in Knoxville. Um, but so cute. And I've already claimed mine, but she swears she can make more. But just email me at ifyouhaveanegg at gmail.com, and I'll get you the information. So one more sip of, of, one more sip of witch's brew before I hit the road. But y'all have a great evening. Be safe. Um, Looks like the storm is affecting a lot of people, and Barbara says that's not even the actual storm. She says that's just a cold front. But anyway, y'all get your toolboxes ready. I want to see what you do, and do not forget to do your homework. But everybody have a great week, and I will see you next time.